Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel High Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge and a lot of students might be saying hey mister this is like where is the challenge x cube equal to 27 everyone know that x cube equal to 3 cube from here yeah and everyone know that from here x is equal to 3 but in terms of math we need to know how can we solve this challenge completely and step by step because right here we have the third power so it means that we will have like no more than three roots so right now let's try to find all these roots right here x equal to 3 this is great this is really good for us that we find this x equal to 3 but we will have like more roots right here so let's do the thing right now first of all let's bring this 27 from our right side to left side let's do this so what do we have right here we have x cube minus 27 equal to equal to zero right now let's write the three cube instead of this 27 so instead of this 27 let's write this expression so we have right here x cube minus we have right here three cube equal to zero and right now if we look closely from another perspective we have right here difference of two cubes okay we have right here a cube minus b cube right now let's remember let's learn a formula right here so let's do this so this is our approach so we have right here a cube minus b cube okay let's look at our formula right here so this is equal to a minus b and in the second parenthesis we have a square plus a b and plus b square okay this is our formula right now let's apply this formula right here okay we have absolutely the same thing we have difference of two cubes okay really great so right now let's apply this formula as a result we have a minus b x minus 3 in first parenthesis so we have right here x minus 3 and in another parenthesis we have the next thing x square okay so we have x square plus 3x and plus 9 equal to equal to 0 and right now as you can see right here we have a product of two parentheses so a product of two parentheses equal to 0 when the first parenthesis equal to 0 or the second parenthesis equal to 0 so obviously we will have like two cases let's look at this so right here let's split let's separate our two parts right here from here we have x minus 3 equal to 0 and right here we have x square plus 3x plus 9 equal to 0 okay so on our left hand side is very obvious so right now let's look at our right side what do we have right here let's find our um, x but first of all we can easily find real quick our discriminant before we write our coefficient a equal to 1 b equal to 3 and c equal to 9 and right now let's plug in all of the things right here into this spot into our discriminant so b square minus 4ac so let's plug in all of the thing into this spot so b square we have 3 square minus 4ac 4 times 1 times 9 which is equal to so what do we have right here our discriminant right here equal to 9 minus right here we have 36 My, 9 minus 36 which is equal to minus minus 27 and right now we have right here negative discriminant okay so it means that here we have a like complex root this is really great right now let's find our x from here because x is complex but we can we can also find our x does not matter complex real number we can also find our x with this complex unit so let's do this so from here our x uh, right here we'll have like x first right here our x second and third equal to our formula our minus b plus minus square root of d all over all over 2a which is equal to we have right here minus b we have minus 3 yeah then we have plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 27 and all over we divide all of the thing by 2a by 2 okay really great right now this square root of minus 27 we can uh, create right here of a complex unit we can create right here our i uh, using the next trick we have minus 3 plus minus and this uh, 27 let's write as 9 times 3 okay so let's write all of the thing like 9 times 3 and times minus 1 okay basically this is absolutely the same expression as 27 but we write this expression like that all over all over 2 Right now let's split our square root right here so as a result we can write this as square root of 9 times square root of 3 and times square root of minus 1. This is our complex unit i, this is our square root of 3, this is our square root of 9 equal to 3. So as a result minus 3 plus minus, right here we have 3 times square root of 3 and times i. So we have right here 3 times square root of 3 and times our complex unit our i and all over all over 2 and right now as you can see we have our our two roots we can also write it this expression in another way we can also write it as minus 3 half yeah minus 3 half plus minus 
3 square root of 3 over 2 and times i if you're talking about real part and imaginary part maybe someone uh, like this uh, this way someone like this way this is like a real part right here this is our imaginary part and this is our complex root right here let's look back uh, to this uh, x minus 3 equal to 0 so obviously from here x first equal to 3 absolutely the same thing as before x first x first equal to 3. So right now let's write up a final answer to this challenge. Let's write up a final answer to this question. So we have right here our answer. As I told before, uh, x cubed means that we have no more than 3 roots. And let's look what we have right here. We have x first equal to 3, x second equal to, let's go with the, with the plus sign for example. We have right here minus 3 half plus 3 square root of 3 over 2 we have i this is our complex root and the third one and as you can see we completely solved this challenge we have minus 3 half with the minus sign so minus 3 square root of 3 all over 2 and times times i so this is our real number root and these two these two solutions right here this is our complex complex roots complex roots right here so right now, as you can see, we completely solved this challenge. We have real number root, which is very obvious for everyone. As you can see, we have this root right here, but also we have two complex roots. So as you can see, with this approach at the beginning, so when you solve this challenge like that, like x cube equal to 3 cube, and from here you have that x equal to 3, as you can see from this approach, you can find this, this root. And as you can see, according to this factoring right here, we factor this challenge and we have a complex part, which is really important in terms of math because you can just agree with me that this solution is really weird. In one line, this is really bad solution. For example, you sit in on your exam and this solution is really bad. When you, when you factor it, when you try to solve this, when you find a way, when you try to find an approach, how can you solve this, it's, it's better for you to solve this challenge completely and according to this approach. So this is my explanation to this challenge. Also, we can write your thoughts down into the comment section. Right now, I'm going to show a plot right here. We can also see a graph that we have one real root. You can also see a complex plane. So every everything you can also see in my video right here. We have uh, a complex plane. We have a graph right here. So you can also see these uh, points of intersection, which is, I guess, uh, for someone, uh, this is like a great thing to look at this in the perspective of a graph. Yeah, because when you solve this challenge algebraically, we can see see a graph but when you look at it in a geometric perspective you can also see a graph and you can also see this uh, solution you can also see these points of intersection so our solution our approach i hope you understand it i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong you can also write your thoughts down into the comment section you can also write your suggestion down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it and also thank you for your support have a great day see you in the next videos